the Windows 7 Start menu has many improvements to help you better manage your programs. The Start menu displays all of the programs on your computer. It also provides quick navigation to frequently use areas on the computer, such as the Users folder, Documents, Pictures, Music, and areas like the Control Panel. Let's take a look at some of the improvements to the Windows 7 Start menu. On the left side of the Start menu, in the white area, is a list of the 10 most frequently used programs on the computer. This list will always be changing depending on what programs you use the most. If you would like to keep one of the programs on the list, just right click on the program and choose Pin to Start Menu. Now the program will always stay at the top of the list. If you change your mind and would like to remove the program, just right click on it again and choose Unpin from Start Menu. The Start Menu will also show us any new programs that were installed on the computer by highlighting them in orange. To view the other programs that are installed on the computer, hover over or click on All Programs. This displays a list of all of the programs that are on the computer. Some of the programs will be inside folders to keep them better organized. Something to remember about the programs that are in the Start menu is that they are just like shortcuts on the desktop. If I was to delete one of the programs from the Start menu, all I am deleting is the shortcut and not the actual program. To uninstall a program from the computer, we would have to go into the Control Panel, which we will discuss in a later video. On the right of the Start menu, there are some quick navigation links to some commonly used areas on the computer. The first one that we see is the Users folder. Yours will have a different name than mine, depending on what the username is. We also see links to the Documents, Pictures, and Music folders. There is also quick access to My Computer and the Control Panel. If you would like to customize the Start menu, go down and right click on the Windows Orb. On the list that pops up, click on Properties. In the Start menu Properties, click on the Customize button. In here we will see a list of all of the different links that we can add or change on the Start menu. For example, I'm going to add the Videos link so that I can quickly get to my Videos folder. To do that, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Videos and change it to Display as a Link. Now I'm going to go up to the Games and choose Do Not Display. I'm also going to add the Downloads link to the Start menu. Remember that you don't have to change these settings if you don't want to. I just want to show you how so that you have the option of doing so. If you have changed any of these links in the past and would like to change them back to the default style, click on the button at the bottom that says Use Default Settings. Before we close this window, let's take a look at the area down below where it says Start Menu Size. This is where we can change the number of recent programs to display on the Start Menu. I'm going to change mine to 15 to show you what this does. When you're done, click OK. Now before we close the Properties window, the last thing that I would like to show you is how to change the Power Button action. This is where we can adjust the default action for the Power Button. I'm going to change mine to Sleep. When you're done changing your settings, click OK. When I go back to the Start menu, we can now see that it's displaying 15 of the most recently used programs on the left. On the right, it added a link to the Videos and the Downloads folder. You can also see that the Games link has been removed. 
At the bottom of the start menu, the power button now says sleep instead of shut down. If I want to shut down the computer, I now have to go to the small arrow next to the sleep button and click on shut down from the list. The last feature of the Windows 7 start menu that I want to talk to you about is the search box on the bottom. To use the search box, just type in the name of the program that you would like to find. Let's search for the program called Disk Cleanup. In the search box, type in Disk. Notice that we don't even have to type in the entire name of the program, and it already found it and highlighted it. To open it, all we have to do is hit Enter on the keyboard. If I had to find this program without the search box, I would have to go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then click on Disk Cleanup. You can see how much easier it was to use the Start Menu Search. This concludes our look at the Windows 7 Start Menu.